Hey everybody, Mr. Spinozax here, and welcome to uh, this first impressions video um, and everything like that. Um, so for those who haven't been really following Capcom as of late, um, they pretty much were teasing this announcement and everything like that, even going as to doing like a timer and everything like that. Well, as of today, the timer ran out and they pretty much announced their new game. Uh, you know, Street Fighter 6. I figured. I, I a lot of people thought of them a new Resident Evil game, um, or a new Monster Hunter expansion. But no, Street Fighter 6 was announced. Uh, from the look of the trailer, uh, Ryu, you know, rocking that hot Ryu look from uh, uh, Street Fighter 5 and everything like that. My boy has sandals. He also got some new gloves now and everything like that. It's pretty much like, you know, the Hot Ryu skin um, for Street Fighter V, except, you know, new stuff into it and everything like that. Dude, the shirtless, you know, had the pants and everything, got sandals and everything, still rocking the headband and everything. Um, so he has a beard now, um, officially. Um, and then, uh, you know, it was just right there. Steam was coming out of him. There was like details. There was like scars in his body as well, and everything like that. I guess you know when you fought for so many years, you know, obviously it was gonna come to that. And then that new character that was in Street Fighter V, like the last DLC fighter for Street Fighter V, named Luke and everything, pretty much teasing, gonna be the new face of Street Fighter. Remember Alex? I wonder how how long is that gonna last? <laughs> um, but yeah, he, he was in there too, to pretty much facing, you know, face to face and everything like that, ready to fight and everything like that, and then bam, Street Fighter VI and everything. That, the trailer would look really good. Like, I really did look, that trailer looked really, really good. Um, can't wait. Hopefully, it has a better launch than Street Fighter V did. But wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby! Cause this one's a screamer! They announced another game. This one is a a collection uh, of games, actually. Um, yeah, they've announced a thing called the Capcom Fighting Collection. Yes, this is pretty much the same equivalent to the uh, street, uh, to the Capcom Beat 'Em Up bundle and everything. Pretty much, you know, has all those uh, Beat 'Em Up games um, in that collection. Well, this one has uh, fighting games and everything like that. So going into it, I was just like, hmm, I wonder what games are going to be here and everything. Um, I thought it was going to be, I don't know, like a bunch of Street Fighter titles, I guess, because like from the beginning of the trailer, it said Street Fighter's 35th anniversary and everything like that. And um, I was like, okay, you know, all right, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of Street Fighter titles, but no, no, it wasn't that. There was just one Street Fighter game in that collection. I'll get to that later. But pretty much they brought in every single Darkstalkers game that has ever existed. Like, I was just like, like, what the heck? Every single Darkstalkers is in this damn collection. Like, I'm just like, dude. Dude, finally, finally this freaking series gets some recognition that it freaking deserves, dude. I've, you guys see me do the playthrough of the first game and everything like that. And for it to just have every single Dark Soccer game, I'm just like, what? Like, I'm, I'm so excited. I, I, I'm so sorry. I, I am so excited. Finally, that freaking game series getting some recognition it deserves and everything like that. Hopefully... This means that they're going to have a brand new Dark Souls game um, in the works soon and everything like that. But other than that, that's not all. That's not all. And other two fighting, pretty uh, pretty much two fighting games that pretty much Capcom forgot existed were brought back as well. Cyberbots and Red Earth, dude. I've never played those games. I've been meaning to play them. But dude, I am just like... Finally, dude, like, you know, I'm given the chance to finally play these games because I've been wanting to play these games for a very, very long time and everything. I heard great things about these games and finally they add them, they freely, you know, acknowledge them 
and now they're in this collection i'm just like dude i'm i'm, I'm really excited i'm really excited and everything like that um and stuff um but that's not all that's not all they um also in that collection is street fighter super a uh, street fighter 2 game um maybe guys are wondering like wait i thought they already had all the street fighter 2 titles um, from the 30th anniversary collection and stuff like that. Um, yeah. But this one wasn't included. Which I was very surprised that they didn't include in that collection. Uh, it is none other than Hyper Street Fighter 2 Turbo. The anniversary uh, edition. Dude, I love Hyper Street Fighter uh, 2 Turbo. Um, and stuff. Like, dude. Like, you. Like, dude. That's probably, like, my favorite. Street Fighter 2 game um, and stuff. Pretty much, uh, Street Fight Hyper Street Fighter 2 allows players to pretty much play any adoration of the Street Fighter 2 characters um, from the from their from other games and everything like that. So you could literally play Street Fighter 2 World Warrior version of Ryu, or all the way to Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Ryu, and everything like that. You still have your option of choosing which Turbo you want. And everything and you still got your supers only for the character only for when you pick the uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo uh, versions of the characters and stuff um, and honestly I, that game is just really great because honestly it's just definitely like a callback to like you know you know the history of Street Fighter 2 and everything like that like it's just really really great and I'm really glad that that's in that collection that's not all what was also announced uh, and I was just very surprised by this too. That freaking Super Gem Fighter Mini Max, or like how I like to call it Pocket Fighter, because that's honestly the better name for that game. Pocket Fighter was freaking announced, dude. I, I was just like, dude, I just did a playthrough of this game. And like, dude, like for them to freaking add it to this damn collection, like, dude, like I just, like throughout the whole trailer, I was just fucking mind blown, dude. Like, I excuse my French, but dude, like I was just like, like, dude, it was just the greatest, greatest thing ever and stuff. That's not the only thing. That's not the only thing, guys. Guess what also was announced? Freaking Super Puzzle Fighter 2. Uh, su yeah, Super Puzzle Fighter uh, Turbo was announced, dude. Like, I was just like, no way, dude. This game, like, I can't. Like, I was like, I, my freaking hype was overloading throughout this whole damn thing, dude. Watching that trailer. Like, I was just like, no way, dude. Like, this is going to be the greatest collection of all, all the collections, dude. Because, man, they freak, Capcom freaking acknowledges, like, Darkstalkers, Cyberbots, and freaking, um, and, and Red Earth and everything like that. Like every, like, and like only having just one Street Fighter game, which I'm okay with because honestly, Hyper Street Fighter 2 Turbo, to me, it's definitely the better version of all the other Street Fighter games and everything. Uh, Street Fighter 2 games and everything um, and stuff, dude. Like, oh my God. And for them to include both uh, Pocket Fighter and Puzzle Fighter in there, oh, it, it, it's done, dude. Uh, overall, I can't wait. Can't wait to play both of those games and everything like that um, and stuff. Uh, hopefully, um, you know, uh, Capcom learned their lesson from when uh, Street Fighter V was launched um, and everything like that. And I'm really looking forward to this fighting game collection because, dude, like, they, like, besides, you know, the games, you know, they got rollback netcode, uh, freaking, the, you got your traditional, like, art gallery for every scene or art gallery and listen to all the songs from the games um and stuff and you know it's just really amazing dude like honestly it's just really amazing like like dude i cannot wait to get my hands on these games like honestly like i'm just really excited so i applaud you capcom but yeah overall cannot wait um and stuff cannot wait for this new generation to try out some of these games that pretty much capcom forgot about until now and stuff so yeah but anyway that pretty much does it for this little first impressions video again cannot wait for it to play them they're gonna be good all right everyone this is Pino's X here saying good night good morning good day for the time you guys are watching this video i'll see you guys on the next one peace